So guys, this is Sean Waters. Waters, yeah. Waters. And Sean Waters has been with me on a few occasions. And we had a good time last Christmas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when I fell in the in the river. When he fell into the river and I came to the rescue and you know, you're still here today. Thank God for that. <laughs> so, um Sean, can we, we can you explain to the people we're we're actually located in Ravensdale Wood. That's okay? right. Okay. Yeah. Now uh, for the people at home, there's 21 people watching right now. Before, Lovely. Before we do our paranormal investigation, would you like to say hello to the folks at home? Hello, everybody. And I hope you're all going to enjoy whatever we get up to, because we're going to try a few things. Yeah. So, uh, the folks, Raven if you don't remember, tell me about Raven. The, for the people at home, can you tell them, Ravensdale Wood, can you explain to us what's happening here, Raven? What happened over here in the last couple of years, Ravensdale Wood? couple of years, well... Maybe a bit more than that. Yep. Some very nasty uh, events took place over there by the bridge. Yeah. Over the river. Yeah. There was uh, a British soldier who was literally battered to a pulp and then shot. His bones or his body has never been found. And his name is Isaac. He was Captain Nyrak of the British Army. Mm who was working undercover in South Armagh and he was responsible. He was at the scene of the massacre of the Miami show band. Yes, actually, when um, Joe was watching this at the moment, and Joe, it would be Kevin's father, and he, he explained some of the history of the, the Miami show band. And what he told me was, is that they were coming home on a minibus and they were all... That's right. Yeah. I actually watched the documentary just day. Yes. It's on YouTube. Yes. Of uh, one of the survivors, one of the two survivors. Yes. Yeah. He explained everything that happened that night. Yeah. And how he got blown over yeah. the hedge in the ditch and down into the field. And is, is the story true that this uh, Captain Nyzerak, is it? Nyrak. Nyrak. Did he have something to do with the killing of the Miami show that? He was present that night. Yes. He was present that night. Because they heard the clear... Um, high posh English accent, and he, smallish man. And come here, uh, we're going to move away from that now, right? So you roughly have a rough idea. So, see, we have so much to cover here tonight. That's only one. Mm. We we have about five or six different stories to tell. This man here called Maker Med. He said you're one hundred percent right. And this man knows he knows the history of the Miami Show band, and he says that this man. I keep forgetting Captain Nairak. Nairak was an evil man. Very. Very, very evil man. And He uh, crossed the border and he shot people in their houses in the south. In other words, he was a bit like Oliver He Cromwell. was a, a bit of a, a, a loner. He just did his own thing. You and know? I know by watching... Yeah, but I, I know by watching some of the research on YouTube that the people that did kill uh, Nairak, the soldier, said that he was a very proud man and he, he, and he, he took it well. I don't know, did you see that? On the well, newspaper? he was awarded a posthumous military cross yes. because of his, his, bravery. His, his bravery and not giving anything away yeah. to his torture. Yes. So come here, Sean, uh, for the people at home, that 
Yeah, he's, he was SAS, whatever that means. Uh, he was trained by the SAS to yeah. come and work in South Armagh. Right. Pretending to be a, a, a labourer from Belfast. All right. So it's believed the story, Sean, that uh, he was captured in Johnstown, um, George Brewer. A place called Drummond Tea, the Three Steps Pub. Yes. And he was taken to this bridge over here. To yes. His... And literally beaten to a pulp. Right. And then shot. Right. So this Captain Nizerak, he yeah. was brought over to this bridge where we're, where we're going to start our investigation tonight. Yeah. And he's supposed to be shot and killed at this location. Yes. And there's two stories going. There's one story going saying that he was put to a meter grinder. No, no. no. And there's another story saying that he was shot here and he dragged and he's buried somewhere in this locality. Yes. Now, I knew a man who's dead now. He, he, he worked, he was in the IRA in the 50s. Yes. And he said that Nairak's body was built into a bridge. Built into the bridge. And we've, we've only actually two bridges here. We have this one here, and we have the one on the way up to Well, the, it wouldn't be that one, because that's where he was actually killed. Yeah. So there's only one bridge, and that's the one, the big one. Up, up it could be. It could be. Right, so that is your Roughly father, the story. God rest his soul, and your mother. Uh, your father was given a job back here. He in, was in, a forestry uh, um, ganger. What um, year was that, roughly? Oh, wow, wow, wow. Uh, early 50s. So 19, 1850, 1950. 19. So 1950, your father was offered a job here in Ravensdale Wood. Yeah, oh, he'd been working for some time. Yeah. But then he was promoted to the ganger. Yeah. And he was given the use of the house up here. Right. And we all lived there for 10 years. So what we're trying to tell the people is this um, this man here, okay, <laughs> Mr. Walters. Walters, Walters. Walters. His father was actually given a beautiful job here, okay? Mm -hmm. And um, he, he thought... Planting was, these trees. Planting all these trees in this wood. In, in hand, working in here, his father was given and his wife uh, to bring up his family in the gamekeeper's cottage mm. that's located on top of the hill of this mountain. That's right. And Sean has so many stories, but we're going to get to that in a few minutes, okay? But the story goes, we're, we're going to run through as quick as we can, that the, the gamekeeper himself, now if, if I'm wrong, Sean, you can tell me here as well. Mm. So the gamekeeper himself was out doing his work one night, and it was, he, he's supposed to be shot a young boy mm. by for poaching. Is yeah. this correct? Yeah. So the gamekeeper shot a young boy in his teenage years. And he the, was a widow's son. He was a widow's son. And the story goes, where Sean says, that the, the gamekeeper that lived in the gamekeeper's cottage before Sean's father and mother took it over. Long before. Long before Sean's mother and father took the gamekeeper's cottage over, the gamekeeper hung himself in the living room That's right. over shooting the young boy. Is that right? Yeah. Yes, roughly. Because the widow put a curse on the man yes. for shooting her only son. son. Yeah. Now, I'll tell you a little story. One night I came up here on my own. Yes. Uh, to the old house, and I yes. had a wee dog with me. Yes. And some treats for him in my bag. Yes. I went into that main room where the hook on the yes. ceiling yeah. lit the fire as usual. Yeah. And the little dog would not enter that room, no, no matter how oh. much I tried to persuade him, he would not. Yeah. So. These are some of the stories, but some of the stories that Mr. Walters has to tell me here is unbelievable. But what one has really, really got my attention, you have, you have there's, there's one that's got really, because is there's, actually, I'm going to come back to that one in a minute, but I'm going to come back to the one where your mother was in the room with your father, and you were in the, in the small box room. You're all going to see it, hopefully, tonight. And yeah, your mother heard the scraping on the floor. That's these, right, these, a big claws. Big claws coming from upstairs. And coming on, the, on the bare wooden floor on the floor she was throwing shoes at the damn thing yeah. so can you tell the people I explained to the people I always do a little ad before I go somewhere mm. and I explained about the black dog with the red eyes at Raven's Day Wood that's the one so, I saw so the people at home listen to what um, Mr. Walters is going to say now right I want you to listen to this story this man was brought up in this wood from what age roughly from about 4 to 14 10 so, years so 10 years he spent here as a young lad living here in Raven's Day Wood yeah. So anybody knows the history about this is this place would be Mr. Walters. Mm -hmm. So um, explain to the folk, look at the camera, explain what you what you experienced, the experience of this black creature. Well, I was coming up from the road over there where I some shopping that yeah. was left. Yes, uh, two bags and had a torch. I was happily whistling along, and uh, I had a, a wee dog with me. Yes, and suddenly this rush. Between me and the stream beside, yeah, yeah. 
the stream yeah. beside me. Yes. Suddenly, in the light of the torch, this massive black hound with blazing red eyes appeared yes. and disappeared in, in, seconds. In, in a split second. Yeah. And I came over all the hot from head to toe. Yes. And I began to scream because I was uncontrollably shocked. And Kimura, and that happened just a couple of hundred yards away from, from this bridge where we started tonight's show. Yeah. Up here to the left hand side. Up to the and, and so um so when you what would I say when you can you picture what age roughly were you then? Were you 13 About now? seven or eight. Yeah. So your mother sent you, you can picture Sean and you come home with his bags and shopping. He's yeah, at his, yeah, no yeah. at that time, you have to walk miles away to get your shopping. Yeah. So when you came with your bags of shopping and you met this creature, what was your intention? What, what was your intentions when you seen this creature in the middle of the wood looking at you? How big was he? Was he big? No, he a, didn't. Was he big as a greyhound? He, he would be at yeah. least, uh, maybe even a wolfhound. A wolfhound. He was at least that size. But he rushed past me. I could just hear the patter of his feet yes. as he passed in a flash and then i ran backwards up the hill still yes. got me shopping yes. shining the light to see if he was coming after me yes yes so there are some of the stories that sean has about raven's dead woods absolutely unremarkable i have one story i want to tell you about here in a few seconds but before we move on sean um there is another story about another house beside the gamekeeper's cottage that was burned with a family of six or seven. That's Just right. explain to people about that one before we move on. Well, it was a long, long time before we arrived, and uh, we only just heard it uh, by word of mouth. Yes. The whole family were incinerated. There was a fire in the house. Yes. An accident, accident I think. Yeah. And five of them, I think, were burned to death in the, that house, which then became a, a workman's uh, shed. Yeah, keep talking, yeah. Up beside the old house. Is that talk there, Kevin? Yeah. The game keepers. Like the, it's a branch break in there, isn't it? So it might be right, some... Go on, now. Yeah, go on, keep going, yeah. So that was another incident. So I, I want to tell you about another incident that happened here. Uh, back in, in the 1980s, okay, back in the 1980s, this, in this very seat where we're sitting in this area, a young family from, oh, where's the name of the place? I'm trying to think about it. Uh, oh, the mill in Dundalk. There's a flower mill outside Dundalk. It's on the way to, I can't think of it. But anyway, the family came here for a picnic. The car was parked down, the car parked down where we're located. And what happened is the, the kids came up playing in this area where we are located right now. And a stranger popped out of nowhere and strangled a young boy, a nine-year-old boy in the woods and bet him, kicked him, flaked him and choked him to death in this very area where we're standing. And that was the second boy that was murdered here in the river. And that's 100% because I met the father, I met the man that told me the story and the man told me that it was his own brother that was murdered here in Ravensley Wood. And there wasn't one word ever said in newspapers or the news or at that time that his son was, that not his son, his brother, he was playing with his brother in the little park here where we're sitting and they had a picnic. His father and mother were sitting in the car park down there. They're running up here and a man came out of the wood out of nowhere and choked him and bet him and kicked the shite of him and the young lad, uh, he was bet to death in this wood in this very spot. And that's 100% just on my own kids' graves and that's 100%. That's one I definitely 100% know. Man, the two boys shot there. Yeah, so he's not about the two boys who shot here. I'm going to tell you what I know about the two boys who shot here. So we're going to start with Nairac then we're going to move the two boys. The story goes back in 2012. Not going to get into too much. The two boys were parked in here in the car park in 2012. You can um, say yes or no, Sean, if I'm wrong, but the boys were selling a car on Dundee. It's an advertising uh, thing you can do on the newspapers or on your phone, and they were selling a car on Dundee. Not going to get too much into it. The people, the man in question was brought to this uh, area to look at the car. He sat in the back seat of the car and shot the two young chaps in front of, in the, in the bullet in the back of their heads. When he finished, he just burnt the car and walked away, and the two young chaps were shot dead in this car park. And not only were they shot dead, he managed to set a light to the car as well in yeah. this car park. But there was a kind of Dublin um, drug gang. Drug gang. In those two boys owed somebody a lot of money. That was it. And that's... What the boy yeah. did, he got in the back seat. So, in this locality where we're standing alone, that's even before we move into the wood, we have a young boy who's been murdered here. We have the soldier who's been shot and beaten to death down here. Yeah. Then we have the two young boys, uh, the, we have the two young boys who were shot back here. Then we're making our way up to the Ravensdale's College. 
Can we, Sean, can I just ask you a question? What is the Ring of Stones up there? What's That's that? the Druid Circle, we called it. The Druid Circle. It was actually <laughs> built by Druids before yeah. Christianity. Yeah. You'll find them in different parts of Ireland. Yeah. We, when we came up here about a year ago, the Druid Circle is called mm. the Ring of Stones. We, Ring would of show, Stone. we would show you, myself and Kevin put the ramp pod on one of the stones mm-hmm. and the ramp oh pod went silly. The ramp pod went silly. We're absolutely crazy. Oh and we liked it. We said we, <laughs> we, 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 said we didn't want to do anymore. <laughs> We didn't know when. Well, so, was... um, what, we're, what we're going to do before we start, hello to everybody who's joined us. 28 people joined us. Thank you very much. Enjoy the slicing. We're going to take it step by step because we have to respect Sean. He, he's, he, he's, what age is you, Sean? 74. Sean, Sean is 74 years of age. And a bit, look, any man that comes out here to give us a bit, give us 74 years of age, you need a good clap in the back. Yeah. Well done, Sean. No Sh- falling in the river. Talk, good, huh? Okay, so we're just going to stand underneath the tree where the two boys are. For a kid. Oh. Which one? Joseph, are the spirits here that got killed underneath the tree? Oh. Are the spirits of the two boys that got murdered here? Are you here? Can you touch that red light and make it go green? Can you touch that red light and make it go green? Can you touch that red light? Can you touch that red light and make it go green for me? It was real. Are your spirits still here? Or maybe is the spirits of the two young boys that got murdered here in Ravens Day Wood? Are you here? The spirits of Ravens Day Wood. Spirits in this locality. The spirits of the two young boys that were murdered here. Captain Nyarak, is, are you here? Are the two boys that got murdered underneath this tree with this red lighter, are you here? Come forward now before we move on. Audio. Audio, yes. And we- <laughs> Believe it or not, the spirit said Anne reads. <laughs> Thank you. Said Anne reads. So, to- Spirits of Ravensdale Wood. My name is Philip. I come, I come with love, joy, and respect. Get out. Get out. I'm not getting out. What are the names? What's the name of the two boys? What's the name of the two What's the name of the two boys that got killed here? Underneath this tree. Come on. The spirits said Anne Reads on the spirit box. Believe it or not. And Anne Reads is a moderator on our channel. Spirits, come around me please. Touch that red light and activate it and touch a green for me. This is your chance to communicate with me before we move on to a different location. The spirits of Ravensdale Wood, Captain Nyarak. The two boys that got killed underneath this tree, shot dead in 2012. The two boys. One boy got killed from the gamekeeper's cottage. The other boy got brutally murdered. Spirits, come forward. Let you know. Please come forward, please. Spirits, you said it. Spirits, what happened underneath this tree? What happened underneath this tree? Come on. Can you say the word Captain Nyarak? Is 
Is Captain Nyrex yes. Captain Nyrex's body in Ravensdale Wood? And this is Desiree. Captain Nyrex. Is his body in Ravensdale Wood? Spirits of Ravensdale Wood, what's your message? I can't understand, guys, the people at home, while Anne Reid's name was brought into the locality. And Anne Reid is a moderator from the channel. And I don't know why Anne Reid was brought into it. There's a young girl. There's a young girl's voice coming in. Spirits, your message. What's your message? Peg. Peg. What's your message? Your teeth. Oh, do you hear that guys? Yeah. Do you hear daddy? Much. Your child said get daddy. Do you hear that? Daddy. Mm -hmm. Did you hear the, did you hear the child say daddy? And Philip. Oh my god. It's all happening here. Martin. Get over here. Were you shot underneath the three spirits? Come forward, don't be afraid of us. Come on. My name is Philip. Were you shot underneath this tree? <laughs> Shit, there's a rampa going off. Rampa is going off. Okay. Rampa going off, guys. Let's try to turn around. Rampa going off. Rampa going off. Rampa going off. Camera won't go around for me. Why is he? Rampa going off. Who is the spirit to setting this off? Who is the spirit to setting this off? Are you the young boy that was shot? Are you the young boy that was shot here? Well, yes, I can hear you. What's your message? Who is the spirit here? Who is the spirit that's underneath this tree? Is this the spirit of Captain Isaac? Or is this the, the two boys that were shot dead underneath this tree? Come forward. Yeah. This is your chance to speak. Yeah. Are you the two young boys who were shot here? Yes? What? This is your chance to put your message out. What? You here? Captain Nyarak from the British Army, are you here? Is your spirit here? Yes or no? Can you say? Can you say, Captain Nyarak, if you're here? Is the two spirits of the boy that got killed underneath this tree? Are you here? Black. Okay, last last time, and we're moving on. We had no green flash on any of our paranormal investigations at all until we started doing investigations in Oliver Cromwell. When we started to do Oliver Cromwell investigations, this green flash has taken over our live streams. When I say live streams, was Math T UK? Were you here? Because there's a big green rope tied to the tree. Go down to the right. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so there are the old sheds. Just take your time, Sean. So, um, we're, we're window up there. yeah, my mother caught me sleepwalking. Uh, yeah, just wait a second, I'll, I'll show the people at home. One second, I'll just turn on the light. That was my parents' bedroom. So, that light here, that was your parents' bedroom. Uh, and one night, my mother caught me climbing through the window. Yes. Uh, Climbing through that window, sleepwalking. Oh my God. Right, so we're nearly at the Gamekeeper's Cottage. What we're going to do is we're going to give you a quick guided tour and then we're going to get straight into it. Just waiting for Sean to get into it in. And then uh, we're just waiting for Sean to hop over all these branches, trees, and everything. Yeah. Right, so we're nearly here. That is the Gamekeeper's Cottage there. You're probably not going to see much of it from here. 
once we get inside, guys. You okay, Sean? So, I need to plug in that wire again. Yeah. You okay, Sean? You're right. You're okay. Yeah. So we're heading here. This is the gamekeeper's cottage. That's the bedroom upstairs. You'll have whitewash. That used to be whitewash. We're just going. In. We're making our way slowly. Into the last time we've been myself and Sean were here, it was absolutely lashing. And so Sean, if the Kevin's there, so we're making our way in slowly. Oh yes, they're all set up. So they're all setting up. We're getting there. That is the window in here. So we are getting here. Sean, the last time you were here, Sean, just stand there, Sean. Sean, I had to put you in the weed bar. From here, but further down. <laughs> where, where are you? Right. So let's go in here, get Sean and everybody get settled, and I give you a guided tour of the place in straight away. So we're just going to go in straight away. You sit here. Yeah. Where? Put up there from, from on top of there. From. Is it? Can you not? It's gone. All right, we'll have a look. Oh, right, everybody, just get a wee old seat there. This place has has uh, changed since we've been here. And someone broke the stairs. Yeah, we'll have a look. I'll have a look at it in a minute. Uh, just try and um, relax, Kevin. You make. Uh, can you make um, uh, Sean a seat there? With, see, yeah. see that? See the with the plank here. Look and the boxes. Just try and make a seat. Yeah. And I'm gonna give people a guided tour. Just put the bottle up here into the bottle that you have. I did. I brought chairs last time, see, because just one second. Okay, we just give me two seconds, guys. The stairs wasn't clapped the last time I was here. Believe it or not, the stairs was still here the time I was here. The stairs are gone now. So let me see. Can I get up with it? So that was the bedroom up here, guys. You can have a look. And the stairs wasn't collapsed when I was here the last time I was here. That's the stairs gone now. I hear a lot of fucking. Can I get up here, guys? Please? Right. So here's upstairs. This is on. Yeah. yeah. It's on it. Have you done it? Yeah. Yeah. Just wait a minute, Martin. Stay there. So that stairs is gone. The last time I was here, that stairs was here, Martin. It was our show on the least. Yes. So it's going to. Here, Martin, here. Yeah. There's three candles I had here the last time. Just put your two hands. Right. And. Okay, um, I wanted to get up here and show you. Every time we get here to this Ravens Cottage, it is falling apart. The stairs is gone now. The stairs the last time I was here. But um, I'm trying to try and get into it as tight as I do on the floor. And as you can see there, look, there's a sign there here. Can you see that haircut there, guys? Can you see that there? Haircut, can you see that? I'll try and get a bit closer here. Right, and Kevin, I want you to come in as well. Come in, Kevin, I hold this. Come on, I hold it. You get in here. Everybody get in the circle. Right. Um, everybody, I hope you liked our live stream tonight, okay? We did do a good uh, investigation. We're nearly three hours live streaming on YouTube. Also, all a big thanks to Matt T U K. okay? We did try to deliver a good paranormal investigation to everybody, okay? Now, I'm only after recovering from an operation. Still at him, still in awful pain. I might look at it, but I'm in dying, dire straits of pain. I still have to bring this. Just, put, just show his face in there, Kevin. Just put, this man here, um, Sean Walters, is 74 years of age. And for this man to walk up tonight and do this investigation with us is unbloody real. Just one second. Especially with a bad back. After falling in the river. Last time. Before we finish up, <laughs> Kevin, would you like to say to any, everybody at home, what would you like? What's your message? Thanks, everybody, for watching. Great, nice. We'll come back again. That shouldn't have went off. It did. It did. Okay, that shouldn't have went off. Okay. Um, okay, go. Come in here, Sean. Say hello. Hello, everybody, and thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We.
would have liked a little more excitement, but uh, just one second, Sean. A bit of a quiet night. Just one second, Kevin. Just point to uh, here, stick it on that magnet there. Yeah, the light just went off. Uh, yeah, right. Do you think that we'll get home before the night? Right. Okay, Sean, your your message. Oh, I'm the general. The leaving goes the leaving for us. That man and was telling the truth. And I hope there's a lot of people watching this. Right, for the guys at home, I'd like to say thank you very much for watching our live stream. We do appreciate everybody watching us live every week. We do put a lot of work into it. And we have the fire on. And uh, we put a fire on, but we have to go home, guys. I'm starting to get off pain, and I have to be this man home. I won't go home to about half, half 11, 12 o'clock. But I do appreciate everybody, everybody watching us live stream every week. We do appreciate our moderators. We do appreciate everybody watching. Please like and share. But our, can I just get you quiet for two seconds, please? And what I want everybody to do is please let us know underneath this video. We know a lot of people watch today, about church people. But if everybody could please comment on the video, let us know what you heard underneath the live stream. It means it doesn't. It mean it might mean a lot to you guys, but it definitely means an awful lot to me, guys. I like to read in the comments uh, what people like to say, what they heard on the spirit box sessions. I like to know everything what goes on. Our next live stream is going to be a place called. Next week it's called Comolra Castle. It's it's in between the border between England and Ireland, and it's called Mulrat Castle. And we're going there next week, next Tuesday night live, Mulrat Castle. I will do advertisements. I will show you where we're going. I always do it. So before we go, I'd like to thank everybody. I'd like to thank all our moderators. I'd like to thank Caroline. Caroline, because I do appreciate. It. I love you to yeah, and I love you to bits. I will get your painkillers, Caroline, on the way out. But before we leave tonight, I am going to leave with a song and I hope everybody's going to enjoy what I'm going to play now. And just give me seconds. It just takes me a couple of seconds to find it. Just give me a second now. I'll find it now in two seconds. I just want my own now. Yeah, just give me a second now. Right on. When you're always looking for the song, you want to finish it. Can you not? Get it now in two seconds. Just give me two seconds. I have it now. Right, so we're going to finish up. Everybody gather around. Martin, get around as well. Here, so everybody, this is it. This is our cleanse, and we always cleanse the set before we go. So here it is. I hope you enjoy it. I always... Well, these guys might know it, but they'll get to know it in a few minutes. You'll get to know it. So it's goodbye for me. Goodbye for me. It's goodbye, goodbye for me. Goodbye for Martin. Goodbye, goodbye for Butter. And bye for Carly in live chat. And we see you next week in our live stream. So here we go. We are ready. One. Here we go. And we see you next live stream. Next Tuesday night. Live on the paranormal take. Alright, hey. oh. All right. Hey. 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 H
There's a mountain top without a mountain you need, and you know where I'll be. Oh, I see a I'll be riding a truck down underneath the hot sun, feeling like a summer. All right, come on, Sean, let's get a bit of fun. I'll be riding a truck down underneath the hot sun, feeling like a summer. Come on,